This is my favorite thrift store for not only Barbie, but just in general. Their prices are really good. Their stuff is really unique. Um, I saw these Barbies on a cart and they were all ones that I recognized. So I was kind of curious as to why they were being moved. I thought maybe like they were gonna get rid of them or what, but I just wanted to go through them quick, make sure there was nothing new. I love this girl. Every time I see her, I love her face. And I looked her up one time and I guess she's like, a Teresa with a special face mold that apparently not everyone liked, but I love it. So, I don't know. Um, nothing there, so I go to the actual Barbie section. And yeah, all these girls were from the top shelf, so I don't know what they were doing. If they were making room for something new, I was kind of like, you know, hopeful that maybe like some new Barbies would be coming in. <laughs> um, they are pretty good about putting new Barbies out, like when one gets sold, they'll put another one out the next day, it seems like. It's kind of sad that I know that. <laughs> That's how often I go. Um, is this a Moxie girl? I think she's super cute. Like maybe she's cheap, but I just love her face. And this Cinderella was also really pretty. Just behind that section, <laughs> I hid this little stitch and I was waiting for the day that his like tag color was half off and today was the day it was orange half off so i picked him up this is the other really good thrift store that i like i'm more likely to find brats things at this one um, but overall their selection is just not that big like that's literally it is that shelf right there um, and everything i saw this day was just barbies that i've already seen before so nothing really interested me they always have bags of clothes at this one, which is why I like this thrift store as well. So I always have to look through those. For the most part, it was just stuff I'd already seen before. I think I even showed some of this in another video. Nothing really caught my eye. So I didn't end up getting any dolls or doll clothes from this thrift store, but I did get something from this store. So keep watching to find out what that is. I love these bags of stuff, like it's so fun to look through. Immediately saw this little Kelly doll. She was so cute and not one that I've really seen before. She had red hair and these cute little freckles. And I don't know if her dress was supposed to go with her, but she was just really cute. A couple other little figures in this bag. Really interesting. There was another Kelly doll, which you can see right next to the redhead, but she was, I guess she was a Chelsea because she is modern. Um, I don't like the way they look and maybe that's just because I was raised in the early 2000s So I'm partial to those kinds of faces for Kelly dolls, but I just don't I don't like the Chelsea's. They're not They're just not as cute. That was also something that was Interesting that actually kind of frightened me, but I liked him at the same time in this bag I could see on the other side there. There was some hair so I cut out like a full minute of me trying to see who it was, but it was the little brats. I have seen this house here before. I think I saw that they priced it at like $6 or something, which is really cool, but it was also just really, really dirty. But I love the little setup. It was so cute. This is my last stop of the day. It's where I end up finding the best thing in my opinion. There's that cheerleader Barbie that I see every time I come. Um, in that corner there used to be a bunch of Care Bears and I guess they got sold, but they were really cute. This booth is really cool. They'll have different like toy stuff. Obviously, <laughs> I got a train car for my dad at this booth before. These Gone with the Wind dolls are really cool. There's also this Barbie down here for $4, um, which was kind of cool, I guess. I don't really like modern Barbie so much, <laughs> clearly. Uh, La La Loopsie, which I don't think I've ever seen in a store before. This back section of the store is where it's at. The music is low and it's just away from the store. So I just feel like I can zone out and hunt for Barbie. Um, a bag of ponies and this Barbie that I've seen so many times before. I just am not attracted to these colors or at least the combination. Like on their own, they're nice, I guess. But, I don't know, something about it I just don't really like. There were a few cute things here. I don't know why I'm pointing at that. Maybe because I thought it was Bratz or something. Uh, I don't know.
Over here in this tub were Marvel Rising dolls. I don't know what that is, um, but cool, I guess. This booth is pretty neat and I feel like they change up their stuff pretty often because I had never seen that Barbie there before. But she was pretty. I don't know. I'm never really drawn to the historic girls for some reason. They are cool though. And then I remember last time I was here, I saw this and I was just curious about if they had lowered the price, but they didn't. It was still $15 and I really only want the Barbie car in there. So the other ones just, I couldn't justify it just your average holiday barbies over here birthday barbie um not ones that i'm interested in prices were decent i guess but just not really a fan of the holiday barbies there's very few that i would actually consider getting um i don't know if that's barbie or what i don't know what that is but there it is <laughs> i know i probably say every booth is my favorite but this one is also one of my favorites and they had 25% off which I have not seen before so that was cool they just have a lot of little figures of every genre of everything they had like you saw the hey Arnold Scooby-Doo there was Barbie Super Mario Brothers um, wild thornberries I saw just so many fun things I've gotten a lot of things from this booth before I got a bag of Barbie McDonald's toys before for like 12 bucks. Oh my gosh, that peach. That was like the third time that I saw that peach that day. <laughs> but yeah, they got My Little Pony, Cabbage Patch Kids, um, Powerpuff Girls, I was trying to think of the name, <laughs> Hot Wheels, so much fun stuff. These dolls over here are like slightly overpriced I think um, I thought she was so cute but I'm not like super into Sinatra so um, yeah I don't know kind of cool I guess also Star Trek not super into if it was like Star Wars Barbie I would be all over that this little booth in the back is always worth a glance I've gotten a really cool Barbie book from this place before so it doesn't hurt to stop in Okay, if you like digging through things, you would love this booth. They had so much product and it was all in plastic, super noisy <laughs> to film, but super fun to look through if you have the time and the patience. I found this Barbie McDonald's toy for $1.50, which was kind of tempting, honestly, because I have so many and it's like, why not, you know, $1.50, but I didn't end up getting her. Um, there was this Tinkerbell, so cute. I'm always tempted by all things Tinkerbell. I'm not a super big, like, Disney doll girl, but when it comes to fairies or, like, mermaids, yeah, I'm into it. <laughs> I don't know why I stare at this thing for so long. Like, what even is that? Is it Bratz? I don't know. Alright, I gotta talk about the bag Barbies over here because there's this girl who I see every time and I'm so tempted by because I love pajamas and I love this Barbie pajama dress because I had one as a kid. It wasn't like that exactly, but it just reminded me of that. But then if you look at her body, I had that Barbie with that molded um, bathing suit, but her face was not the face of that Barbie. So I don't know if she got a new head was it called it's like the proper term i don't know um rebodied <laughs> uh i don't know but she intrigues me i think she was like 250 so i don't know why i don't just get her but the last time i went to this antique mall a <laughs> little finger wave oh my gosh i kind of hid something in this basket but not really because it was already like deep inside there so i just put it back where it was but it's this dog it says it's a dog is it a dog i don't know it says well when i look it up it says little as pet shop um it was like a dollar i don't think i got it but i i just i'm intrigued by it all right are you ready for the ultimate barbie booth every antique store has one 
they had a lot of really cool barbies i remember looking at them the last time i was here and thinking it was a little overpriced but i'm cheap so everything's overpriced to me oh my gosh i love this little traveling girl she's so cute i also love this christmas sweater girl um i think that's the one i love there might be another one that i, I yeah there's another one but they're both really cute um 1250 see not too bad i guess it just depends depends on what you want there's a valentine's day girl i'm always partial to those she had a few repros which was really cool those were priced a little bit higher she would take care to write like the ebay price on everything and then make it known that her price was lower but like e ebay prices fluctuate all the time so i don't know There's one Barbie in particular that you'll see that I really <laughs> freak out about, I guess, low-key. And it's not her, but she is very pretty. It's the one in the back. It was like one of those things where I'd seen her and then later I would see her come up online again and I was like, wait, I actually love this doll. And then I forgot she was here and when I came back, I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot this little girl's here. I love her. I love her. Autumn is just so... Oh, she's so cute. She just reminds me of my birth month, which is September. Just like the autumn vibes. She was 45, which was way too much. Um, and then your girl looked up and saw that there was a sale. 25% off. <laughs> it made me rethink this girl. I didn't end up getting her, but I low-key regret it. And then this guy walked by and said this. Barbie's still hot. To which I said, yes, they are. <laughs> um, all right, so this haul is gonna be pretty quick. There's only a couple of things I wanna show. There's this big bag of stuff. I'll just quickly go through. through. I got a hair dryer. There are a lot of just kind of baby toys in here. Mm -hmm. Whoa. It's kind of cool. Whoa. That's neat. Minions. Ooh, here's one we wanted. I forgot about her actually. Her hair needs a, a wash. It's really bad. There's no year on it, but um, obviously it's a McDonald's toy. There's another little doll, obviously Pocahontas. I think I said it in this video that I'm just not really into. Disney, although I do love Pocahontas in the movie, I just don't, I'm not big on the dolls. Fish. This is so cute. I'm gonna look this up. I don't know, I just like that it's pink. Ooh, a little chair. Is this for like Polly Pocket or something? Cute. Ooh, I love these. Okay, well. It's kind of hard to move. Gary. A poodle. This kind of looks like the one from, um, what's that movie called? Oliver and Company. Piggy coin purse. I love these things. Is this the pug from no i don't think it is i thought it was the pug from pocahontas a wet brush and finally our little brats this is yasmin's uh, a staple just fell out of her hair <laughs> poor girl she needs a wash too so i'm pretty much gonna keep these bag was three dollars dollar fifty each let's take a look at the barbie i got she doesn't really stand up on her own, so I kind of got to hold her. But it is the Autumn in Paris Barbie. $45 minus, what was it, 25% off? Let's take her out of the box, because obviously she's not going to be staying in this. She's so 
pretty. And she comes with a stand. She comes with this certificate of authenticity. Let's get a little closer. She's got this really cool hat with feathers at the top. Some big old gold hoop earrings. Her hair is this really, really pretty, like auburny brown color, which I've not seen before on a doll. I love it. She does have like some creasing just from being in the box. So might have to give that a little boil wash quick and that'll be easy because her hair's straight so I don't have to do much styling. Just got this super pretty scarf that is actually threaded to her jacket down here to keep it from going anywhere, which I personally like. <laughs> I can appreciate that. Her coat snaps in the front. It's got these pretty velvet cuffings. Oh, and her jacket's actually threaded to her skirt too. That's so interesting. It's just all one piece. I guess maybe because she's a collector, they don't imagine that people will be like redressing her and all that. Here are her boots. They're just really long brown boots. Her stand says Barbie Collectibles on it. Skirt has this slit in the back. It's kind of folded over. There we go. One really cool thing she comes with is this cane. I don't quite know how it's supposed to stay up, but maybe I can just tie it to her wrist down there or something. Um, and it does have a little bit of, it's kind of like wet rot, honestly. That should come off really easy. There is our Miss. Parisian autumn girl She's so pretty. I'm so glad to have her and at a discounted price. That was really cool She looks awesome. I love when a doll is just super complete like this like earrings hat scarf accessories It just is so pleasing. All right. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time